Hello everybody, it's Starraptor here and welcome to my unboxing of the Star Wars Legion Stormtrooper expansion. This comes with seven unpainted Stormtroopers and these are the same Stormtroopers you get in the core set. This is just more of them. So let's take a closer look at the packaging. Okay, so taking a closer look at the packaging, if you didn't realize that a Stormtrooper is an Imperial unit, then right there, you know we have that Imperial cog symbol. I like the box art on all of the unit expansions. Here it looks like we have the Stormtroopers on some kind of desert planet, it could be Tatooine. You flip it over, Star Wars Legion. To the side, we also have the Imperial logo down there as well as some more box art. And on the back, I love how they included images of the unpainted version of the Stormtroopers because not everybody will paint these, so at least you know what you're getting in the box. You can play them on the bases, but I prefer to paint them. And you see over here we have all of the included contents. So let's break open a box and see these things at a closer glance. Okay, so take a close look at the minis. As you see, they're very organized with the plastic baggies. Each one of the minis has its included parts in the baggie, so it's very simple to put together, super easy. All you have to do is glue one or two pieces on and then glue these to the bases themselves. So just to take one of these out for you guys. Okay, so taking a very close look at the miniature themselves, here is an example of a DLT Heavy Trooper. Okay, and to put the arm on, it is that simple. Now you may choose to trim some parts of the arm joint so it fits in a little snugger, it's up to you. Next we have all the bases, all seven of them. Okay, so here we have some tokens. Of course you got the unit tokens, some panic tokens, Dodge tokens, aim, standby tokens, all that. Okay, so taking a look at the Stormtrooper unit card, we have the key art of the Stormtroopers as well as their description. Flipping over, we do have the stats. So looking at them at a glance, you see the keyword precise one, which provides one additional dice whenever you take an aim token. So usually you get two additional dice rolls, re rolls on an aim token where you get one more to add to a possible three. Then we do have a red dice, which is the best dice for the defense roll. They do have that white armor, which provides a little bit more defense. And if you look, their blaster rifle is not all that good. It's a one white dice that kind of signifies why they can't really hit is because the blasters themselves aren't very accurate at all. So moving over to the upgrade cards, we have the DLT-19 Stormtrooper. It has pretty damn good range and it has impact so it can affect vehicles. We also have the HH-12 Stormtrooper which primarily works against armor. Then we have the usual reinforcement for an additional Stormtrooper. Then moving over to these next two cards, these are exclusive to the expansion set. You can't get these in the core box so in order to get impact grenades which are very effective against vehicles you're going to have to buy the expansion as well as if you want to get the grappling hooks which make it easier to traverse terrain okay and as i mentioned earlier these are super easy to assemble there's usually two or three things you have to glue together plus the base itself i follow the directions of the tutorials by the youtube channel sarastro who does an excellent job painting and his directions are just invaluable my models wouldn't come out nearly anywhere as they are without watching his videos so definitely make sure you go ahead and check out his YouTube channel and give him a subscribe he does a great job over there and I'm just overall very happy with the quality of the Stormtrooper minis and everything from Fantasy Flight Games is always top notch there's such little detail put into these Stormtroopers I like how they have all these dynamic poses and as far as for the game mechanics themselves I like how they live to cannon where they can't actually fire the weapons that accurately and their armor actually helps block some blaster bolts and the precise keyword kind of all blends in with how they are accurately displayed in the movies so i'm very happy with the stormtrooper expansion now i want to know what you guys have to say about the stormtrooper expansion are you rolling the empire how many units of these are you going to bring to your army? Let's talk about it in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, I have plenty of other Legion content on the channel and it's coming out on a frequent basis. So make sure if you like this video that you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of that future content. I also have lots of other general Star Wars content such as 
book reviews, comic reviews, and trailer reactions and whatnot. So make sure you go ahead and check that stuff out as well. It helps me a lot. My name is Star Raptor. Thank you for watching and may the force be with you always. Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.